I've been doing this legacy challenge let's play here on my YouTube channel for a really long time now and in it my sim just got pregnant which normally is like exciting but not really like that big of a deal but this time it's actually a huge deal because when that baby is born they're going to be the 10th generation of the family we're on the ninth generation right now so all of the future kids are gonna be a part of the 10th generation which I've never gotten to in a YouTube series before so I'm just feeling kind of sentimental and pretty excited about this baby I'm not kidding though my sim literally just found out she was pregnant. Like you can see, she's leaving the bathroom right now. She took a pregnancy test and she's walking this way to go and share the news with her partner. She hasn't even told her yet. And I'm like already ready to build this nursery. So my sim's sister just moved out. So we've got this bedroom that we can convert into a baby room. And I thought that maybe we could decorate it together. Annoyingly, this baby is gonna like narrowly miss the infant update, but that's fine. That's fine. We're gonna make a nice little nursery anyway. And we should have plenty of money, like to the point where we don't really have to worry about budget for this because this room was kind of expensive before. I'm not entirely sure what sort of wallpaper I want to go for or like what color scheme I want to do. I do really, really like this one. It's got this kind of fun green swatch, so that might work. I feel like I want to use another accent color, but I don't really like the red accent color and I don't know if the blue stands out in a weird way or not. Well, you know what? That might work. So we'll do like a blue and green color scheme. Also keeping in mind, this room is for a baby that is not born. So like, I don't know what their name is gonna be. I don't know what they're gonna be like. I may be acting prematurely in building this. I'm just too excited to not. We have to use this cute little werewolf bassinet. This is the best one in the whole game. Although I don't really know what color to pick. I kind of like this one because it adds in like the yellow accent color, but I also don't know if it's too much or not. This one is very like calming because it's neutral with just some wood. You know what? This thing kind of matches really well actually with the wood and like the green and red. I'm not really sure like how neutral and calming I want this to end up being because part of me is like let's do this and use like the hot pink shelf but I also like this little wallpaper. This rug actually works really well. Like it kind of matches the wallpaper perfectly. Maybe I should also decorate this as like a toddler's room and put a toddler bed in here too. Cause I'm not really gonna need like the baby stuff for very long, but I will need the toddler stuff longer. I wish we had more like plain toddler beds. I don't think I want it to be wood like that. Like I kind of want it to be white and these are really cute, but doesn't that just seem like so, I don't know. Is it weird for a toddler to have like a canopy bed? I think that's just what's holding me back is, is me wondering if it's too much or not. I guess this is the 10th generation sim though. So like, is anything too much for them? I think I might try and make this whole section into like a play corner. They've also got a half sibling who's a child already. So at the very least that kid could play with the toys like while the baby is still just a baby. I want to try really hard to make this corner like very cute. I think these trees are kind of a nice touch and it almost makes me wonder if I should add in some more decals because there's some kind of cute little cloud ones, but I think the cloud ones, I don't know, it doesn't really work with the wallpaper. At least these trees are like vibrant enough and big enough that it covers the wallpaper. And then this, like it's cute, but I think it's it's also too much with like the wallpaper being so bold. I wanna look through literally everything that came with Parenthood because I wanna add in some cute toys and stuff to this little play mat. We could probably also use like the Parenthood dresser and stuff. There's also this nice bookcase, which I wonder if I could could try and make look like it's built in. Is that clipping? Oh, yes it is. <laughs> Oops. Well, we don't necessarily have to use that one. Isn't there stuff from kids room too? Although I did kind of like this one. I guess it doesn't have to be like built in, built in. And maybe I could scoot the curtain over. Obviously I realize that looks really weird. <laughs> I'm just wondering if I scooted the curtain over if, or does it bother me that it clips? I don't know. I'm trying to decide how much it bugs me that it clips. Cause it, it certainly bugs me a little bit that it clips. But I do love the idea of the kid having like amazing built-in bookshelves. We have a lot of stuff like this though. And like the ones from the other packs are also really, really nice. Like this one is very much a kid's room bookcase. Oh, and I can scoot that back farther. So that might be better. That definitely has that like built-in bookcase. Oops, that's clipping too much. <laughs> that definitely has that like built-in bookcase vibe that I'm going for. And it's not 
bothering me with it clipping with the curtains. Maybe I can give the kid like some little pillows. I was just thinking like some pillows or some sort of cute little stool to sit on. Oh, or like this little plush room one. Wait, I might even be able to size it down and have like two of them. They come in some kind of cute colors. Should we do it like that? Or maybe the pink one should be bigger. That kind of fits the little like cozy cottagey theme. Okay, annoyingly, I think that this bear won't be accessible. Like they can't actually play with it, but I hate to say it, I think I might be a little bit more concerned about how it looks <laughs> than about how it functions. I'm trying to decide if I want to bring in some more of the teal. I liked the idea of the pink, but I think the pink doesn't really match. Like this room is very blue and green. Do you think that this would be a good spot to put those little shelves? Cause I think that's kind of cute. I don't really know what to put on them though. I keep doing this to myself where I like put those shelves down and then have absolutely no idea what to actually put on the shelf. Mostly cause I don't really want to cover up the decal. Like I love the shelf too much to want to put anything there and like hide it. I'm kind of looking through the beds again, wondering if maybe any of the others would be a better fit. I don't think I like the swatches on this one. I really like this bedspread, but I like the top of this one better. And I like this one. I just think that this one doesn't match. Like I wanted to have a white frame. Oh, maybe, do you know what? Maybe this yellow thing could work. I don't know if that's like totally random or not, but maybe these don't match. Despite my best efforts, I don't know if I can make it work. Maybe I can get like one more little window over here. I don't really care how it looks from the outside. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Maybe I do care. Wait, 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 hang on. There's a smaller one from Snowy Escape, which might, oh, no. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of ways to get something to break up this big wall. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something that I can use to fill in the giant wall space. Maybe if we had like a big dresser, like that one, because that kind of helps to break up how there's so much pattern everywhere. And I guess it also sort of divides the space. Like we've got playroom and then bedroom. Maybe I could put a cozy little chair for us to like sit and rock the baby in or something. Thing. Or maybe I'll just forget this toddler business completely and we'll make it entirely a baby's room. Look, the rocking chair has like the perfect color scheme. It's got the blue that we want. I honestly like adore this little painting as well. The little cupcake is so cute. I wonder if I could get some pictures of mom. She's not like that heavily pregnant yet, but if we had like a pregnancy photo, that could be kind of cute. Oh, look, she's announcing her pregnancy. Wait, I should probably get some pictures of this. <laughs> I should probably save this. Where did my camera go? Oh, I bet one of the other Sims has it. Oh, well, please hold. I'm buying a camera and a tripod and I'm gonna take some photos. Oh, wait, I could get a picture of my Sim with the cat or something. If you can't really tell that she's pregnant. Oh, that's a, that's a leaf. Well, I guess no matter what, we'll know that these are pregnancy photos. Oh, she looks pretty pregnant. This is so annoying. Why, why does there have to be this here? I want the photo so bad. I'm gonna get a picture of my Sim and the cat if she would just hurry up and listen. It's kind of annoying trying to get photos in this game as I'm sure you might have noticed. Okay, this isn't like a terrible photo. You can't really tell that she's pregnant in it, but oh my god, somehow this one kind of looks like it could be a baby announcement picture. The way she's holding the cat like it's a baby. Okay, that's kind of cute. All of these have like some nice green accents too with the bushes behind us. Is that like too many of the same picture over and over again? <laughs> Should I have added in something else? Wait, let's get like one more of the two of them together. Pregnancy photo, some couple photos, photos. I really like this one. I feel like that is so cute. I might have to put some of these other ones around the house elsewhere, but the problem is I've got photos everywhere in this place. <laughs> like I've already put photos on every wall that I could possibly put a photo on, so I don't really even know where else to put them. Maybe I could put some in here. There. Okay, well back to the nursery. I did all of that just to get some cute photos to put on the wall by the rocking chair. I think I might want to get like a little tiny table to put next to it. Maybe if I size this one down and then make it all white. Oh, and we can put the little books on the table. Okay, wait, which color though? Here's a tip for when you're trying to place things on stuff that is not slotting right, because I size this table down, it's like slotting up too high. And then if I try and raise it up using like zero and nine, it's either clipping or it's floating. I can't get it to the exact right height. If you've got Dream Home Decorator, these little cube shelves pretty much have everything slot to them. So you can use this to get it to the exact right height, move it off and then kind of put it back. And then you can get it to be at that like exact right height without having to 
have it floating or anything. There's also mods for this. There's this like red shelf mod that does the exact same thing, but if you don't have that mod or you don't know how to get mods, this is another tip. I wonder if I could combine like two of these together and try and make it into some sort of fake changing table. I'm not sure if two is too much. It's like really obvious that it's the same thing twice, but I wonder if I did that and then did that little ottoman trick we do a lot to make it look like it's a baby changing table. I don't know if this is like really weird because the mat is so long. You can tell what we're going for, right? Like obviously it's not exactly perfect, but you get what we're trying to do. I can put some little products next to it. See, this is kind of cute. There's a lot of the same color happening in this corner now, which I did not really intend for, but there's not a green swatch. I guess that one is green. Is it too green? Something that has always bothered me so much about this item is that it doesn't have a plain white swatch. Like it has this white one, but it has the flowers on it. There's not just like a plain white version of the mirror. We got a plain black version. There's a plain gray. There's like a couple colors that have plain swatches, but they didn't give us plain white. And then we have a couple other oval mirrors, but like this one is so dramatic. This one is like too small and too high up. It's just hard because I feel like this little one is like the exact right thing that I need for this, but I don't know if I want to use the flowers. Maybe I can use the flowers. It's not necessarily bad. I think I might be overthinking this one. I'm playing on short lifespan. If this room is just for a baby, they're gonna be in here for like, what, two days maybe? <laughs> There's no point to put this much concern into it, but here we are. I'm kind of trying to look through all the packs too, like through toddler stuff and everything, just to see if there's anything else I want to use. This chair is quite cute. I don't think I'm gonna put it in here, but I wonder if I can try and put it in their siblings room. Although this room is, um, it is very yellow and orange. <laughs> So I don't know if they need this, but they could have like a fancy little chair maybe. It's kind of random, isn't it? Eh, I don't care. Is there really only one white swatch on this? Why? Okay, well, I'll give the kid this thing too. <laughs> this is turning into a different video that I meant to make. Oh, see, if we had like a little trash can for the diapers, that would be cute, but I don't really know like if I want to have that in here or not. <laughs> oh, do you know what I will add is like a little night light. That is so cute. I'm kind of wondering if I should switch where the bed goes, but I don't, I don't know. Something about this part just feels empty. Maybe I could do like a whole bunch of teddy bears. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe we could just get like a pile of teddy bears here and then we could use this for like some additional decorations, but also, no, it's ugly. What, I don't know what I'm saying. Maybe just the one teddy bear will do. I feel like this half of the room is worse. <laughs> I'm really struggling with like how to do this because I feel like this part is worse. Maybe I could switch it and we could have like the rocking chair over here. It makes more sense too because it's next to the bookshelf. I feel like I've made space for everything in this room except the bassinet that I need. <laughs> There's space to do literally everything except put a bassinet in here and that is like the one thing that we actually need to include. Maybe I could shrink this section a little bit and have the, the baby changing table stuff be shorter. Maybe the problem is that I want the bassinet to be more colorful. I feel like a lot of these colors don't match like that well, although there is kind of a cute blue one. We also have pink pink, yellow. I would just like to point out that I have tried a lot of variations of this and I, I really am not sure which one is best, but I'm thinking that maybe this would work. I might also scoot the door over a little. So you can come in, you can read, we've got the play area, we have like the changing table and the bassinet, all the clothes go over here. I think that this kind of works. I'm still feeling like something about this area needs like some more pizzazz. You know what? I think that this little rug might have just brought the whole thing together because it like brings in some more yellow. It adds some more color to this side that I wasn't loving. It makes this sleeping area seem more intentional as well. I think I'm really happy with this room. I hope the kid likes it for the like whole two days that they're gonna be sleeping in there. I'll put it on the gallery for you. I don't really know what angle to use. It's kind of hard to see from like all of the angles, but I'll put it up there on the gallery. It's counting as being modded because I have the photos in there. I'll put it up without them so it doesn't do that. I don't know how many people usually download rooms, but just in case you were interested, it is there for you. Oh no, <laughs> maybe I should have saved the game first. Okay, I think it should be up and I think this room is done. Thanks for sitting here while I talked myself through the creation of this room. As you can maybe tell, I am already very attached to this sim. I think I'm also just really excited about babies in general. This is the second nursery that I've built recently. I think I'm just kind of desperate for that infant update. If you want to see the other nursery that I built, I'm going to link it here at the end of the video. And I think on that note, I'm going to cut this one right here. Thank you for watching. Have the best rest of your day and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Okay. Bye everybody.
Oh, we are really in for it because I'm making all these nurseries now, but like imagine once the baby update actually comes out, I'm gonna keep making nurseries. I mean, it's, it's gonna be a curse for months.